she finally got her dream. For 10 years, Dawn Galenshin commuted back and forth between Ontario and Portapique, where her husband, Frank, lived. She was only able to join him permanently last summer. Both were murdered last month. Their retirement home set on fire. I'm more angry than anything. I'm angry that 22 people lost their lives, and I really, truly believe that this could have been prevented. Documents obtained by CBC News show that in May 2011, nine years ago, a municipal police officer in Truro got a tip. He was told Gabriel Wartman had stated he wanted to kill a cop, that Wartman had guns and might be transporting them back and forth between his denture clinic in Dartmouth and his cottage in Portapique. The officer issued this bulletin to warn police forces across the province. Officer safety bullets are, are very serious in the policing world, of course. Um, they're not issued all the time. They're only issued, uh, you know, for very serious uh, matters. When the Halifax Regional Police received that bulletin back in 2011, they opened an investigation because the Dartmouth Clinic is within their jurisdiction. But the municipal force says it determined any information about the weapons was related to the Portapique Cottage, not in its jurisdiction, and so it forwarded that to the RCMP. The RCMP says it can't provide any information about what its officers did as a result of that bulletin. I don't know what was done or what wasn't done at the time. The RCMP says these bulletins are purged after two years. But on the second day of the shooting, another municipal force was able to dig up the bulletin and shared it with the RCMP that day. The Mounties insist they didn't have it as they responded to the rampage. I just don't understand it. I, there's so many questions and answers that, that we need as a family. Um, that we're just not getting right now. He is adding his voice to mounting calls for a public inquiry into the shooting spree that ended 22 lives. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.